Hey guys, John here. So in front of me, I have the Lexus GX460. This is the Overland concept. So it's in a different wrapped color. We actually were able to drive this thing just uh, maybe a month ago at Destination Outdoor. So this is a SEMA truck that we had off road and this thing handled really well. So I wanna take you around it in this video. So we have a full Old Man Emu BP51 kit underneath of this thing and it rode very, very well out on the Georgia trails. It performs super good, no issues with it at all. So we have the Old Man Emu upper control arms, the full BP51 kit. I have this on my Tacoma too, and it is such a great kit. Uh, the original color of this one is Nori Green, as you guys would see in some of the videos, but this wrap on this thing, Lexus said that they put the wrap on it and they were gonna see how it was received, and my God, this color is absolutely awesome even with it all tricked out to be an overland rig with the rooftop tents on it all the cbi armor i think it complements it all well the black accents too the black chrome up front looks good so speaking of up front we have a full cbi kit on this truck everything front bumper skid plates down here you can see but this front bumper contours everything of this really good and we have a rigid industries uh, light bar up top too. cruiser kurt and his uh, whole team at cruiser outfitters did this whole rig for lexus and i think that they did an awesome job so we have a worn wench up here tucked up back behind that the rigid bar like i said cut the whole mesh out of this super clean look we'll go around to the side of it so we can see the cbi rock sliders rock sliders come up right here to the front pretty good you have some dimpled tops right here so you can step in it have some grip these are a zero degree we have cbi right there in the center some off-road toyo open country tires the spare tire is actually mounted to the back of it so it's back into the hatch of this one we have a yakima rooftop tent prince roof rack tons of storage up top too and the alu box we have some max tracks back there. Light bar up top on the Princey roof rack. And then this is locked right now at the auto show, but I'll go ahead and show you guys a clip that I have of Cruiser Kurt talking about the whole rear end of this GX. We've got a freezer fridge. This is a 12 volt ARB model. And the beauty of it is it is a refrigerator and a freezer. So now you have the ability to take kind of fresh food, ice cream, the things you otherwise wouldn't be comfortable doing in like a normal cooler situation. The full drawer system, this is a goose gear setup, so it's, it is dialed and made just for the back of the GX. So these are all accessories that are available. We've got the K-On table system, which is really cool, just to give you, you know, all your quick access to a nice little folding flat surface. You're making your sandwich, you're making your coffee, you got your quick access gear. <laughs> so smooth. <laughs> Yogurt. <laughs> Look that's this. when you've, that's that's when you've Kirk, made it. Make a killing on eBay. Like they that. would. I know. I think Danny was like, hey, that would sell for a lot on eBay, you know. Yeah. It's a very tidy system. Yeah, one <laughs> so, guys, what do you think about the GX Overland concept? It was super cool that we were actually able to drive this thing out in Georgia. And I am a 4Runner lover. So, this is essentially a V8 4Runner. It's from Lexus. But what I like about this compared to the 4Runner obviously the 4.6 liter v8 and your height that you have so this sits up a bit higher itself yeah it has the bp51 kit on it but the interior height that you have of the vehicle is super nice and then also with the leather on the inside it's a super comfortable ride they have uh radios in here too up there you can see that and it just looks like a overly <laughs> done up forerunner on the inside honestly same seats as the forerunner too actually fun fact but that's it on the GX Overland concept, guys. Let me know what you think down in the comment section, and I will catch you in the next video. All right, see you later.